Right, today I'm going to be installing a backup camera in a 2009 Pro. I ordered this backup camera off of um, Amazon. Pretty much just comes with the backup camera. That's going to get bolted to the bottom of the trunk. And then it came in a couple different pieces. I started to kind of wire it together already. Got your power, your video, and then you'll have your video that goes in the back of the, the radio. And then you'll have your power cable that, or your reverse signal cable that'll go into the back of the radio. And then you'll pretty much just need some wire strippers, a screwdriver to take apart your radio, and then probably some type of drill bit so you can drill into the back of your your trunk to run the wires through for the back of the camera. And then maybe a connector to to splice your wires in. All right, well first you're gonna um, just start taking apart everything to get access to the back of the radio. I pretty much popped off all the panels already. Um, this has two screws in it. Um, I believe they're around here and here. They go through here. And you'll need to just pop off that for your AC, your auxiliary controls, and pop off the top. And then my radio honestly has no screws in it. So it's just in there with the clips. So you can just pop it out like that. And then you will have to get access to the right video in. I have a couple. I'm pretty sure this is the one I need. And then this back wire is the wire that you're gonna use to run the reverse signal wire in. Now we gotta get access to the backup light, which we're gonna splice the wires into. Um, I'm gonna probably do the back light here on the driver's side. Pretty much just get this off. And then here's the bulb. We'll probably splice into the wiring somewhere inside the trunk. And I'll start taking these clips off. Okay, so pretty much what I did, um, I didn't want to drill a hole into the actual trunk of the car. I did drill a hole um, in the bottom of this plastic piece. I had to drill about a half inch hole just to be able to run the wires, the wire connectors through. Um, and then I have this thing on partially. And what I did, there's a hole in the trunk um, underneath where the key is. And I ran these wires through that hole and then I'm gonna run them through the trunk to my reverse wire that way. Okay, so pretty much now I got all the wires placed in. Uh, pretty much just connected the video wire from the front of the car all the way back here, which that video wire then gets connected to the reverse light, which I tapped right into just pretty much the reverse light bulb. I spliced into the two powers that come from the camera and then the ground onto that onto the ground of the light bulb. All right, now that I got all the wiring all hooked up, let's just go double check that everything's working. And the backup camera also has lights on it, so it helps to see it better at night.
Okay, so pretty much what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the two wires that were in the front, we're gonna run them, I ran them down, it's kinda hard to see, but down under to the footwell, I should come out right here, and then I'm gonna tuck this underneath the footwell somehow, and I popped off this, this one was right here, I popped that off, and then I popped off the foot one, and then I'm going to just try to run these wires all the way through. Pretty much follow the factory harness all the way to the back. And I popped off the back one too. I'm gonna to have to try to move some of these other ones. And then we're gonna to have to probably maybe move the seat or see what we can do with this plastic panel here. And then pretty much then it's gonna come into the truck, which I kind of already pulled down this plastic this liner here. Just a couple of those black clips just pull them out and then push down the liner and then i'm going to try to finish running the wire probably with the factory harness zip tie it and then i've already showed you how i got it up in the trunk so i'm going to get to that real quick And also, make sure when you guys are running this wire, um, if you pre-run it, make sure you get it behind the seatbelt. So I'm gonna have to unwire it from the radio and put it behind the seatbelt. So just make sure you get it behind the seatbelt before you run it. Alright, so pretty much got the wire ran from the top of the radio. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I tucked it away and I wrapped it around one of the harnesses and then just kept running it through the factory harness underneath this. And it comes out through here. And then I had to pop my seat up. It's a little dirty under there, I never popped it up. And ran it underneath the plastic through there. And pretty much pull down this hole. It's easier to see with the seat now. Just pull it through and then come up through here and I'll probably just zip tie it against the factory harness right there. Okay, so pretty much now at the other side of the cable from the camera, you should have your video in. And then this is gonna be your your backup like trigger. On my radio, the wires go all back. It might be reverse on yours. I'm just gonna twist them together right now. And then just make sure everything's gonna work. I'm just gonna turn the car on. All right, and then we should be able to put it into reverse. And there's the backup camera. All right, I'm gonna finish tidying up everything and then I'll see you in a little bit.